All right there, fucking Faye. You know what time it is. It's time for another movie review. But double. We got a double feature tonight. That's right. Oh, we're... Oh, okay, cool. cool yeah, cool, cool. we're not... Nah, no, no, I can figure we'll just make it into one full-on video, right? Instead of making two separate ones. Yeah, yeah. Because it's been, like, what, three days since we watched fucking uh, Last Stop in Shoho? And then Orphan, we just finished watching, so that's fresh in my mind now. But I do definitely want to talk about fucking Last Night in Shoho first. Because there's it's a Soho. Like, whatever. Soho, ho, bitch ho, <laughs> titty ho, whatever, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Soho, or whatever the case may be, some fucking weird ass fucking name, but whatever, I don't give a shit. The movie was awesome. It was super good. I put it off for a long time, too. I wanted to see it forever. How long have you had the but just, sitting in your collection? I don't own it, but I kept seeing like seeing it places, and I was like, I, oh, like, I right. kind of want to watch forgot, it. Yeah, 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 you forgot. You watched it on HBO. <laughs> mm-hmm. That service is like, shit. I can't. It totally is. It's so bad. Um, and every time I'd see it, I'd be like, "Oh my god, I really want to watch it." Like, it, I'm interested in it, right? But I don't know. I just, I, I just kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. But, but then end up being amazing. I don't know why I do that to myself. Well, I mean, th- see, that's the beauty, right? Because like, because like the last couple films that we've done prior to this. Uh, it hasn't really went in our favor, to be fair. Like that's true. You know what I mean? Like the last two movies that we watched, we're not going to talk about Ghoulies because that doesn't count. Uh, <laughs> but the two movies prior to that, though, um, yeah. were pretty shit. Like the Purge, like the uh, like the Forever Purge. That was just yeah, that fucking was terrible. Terrible. And then even the yeah. one that we saw, what was the one that we saw before that? It was um. Uh-huh. Was it Antlers? It was Malignant. Oh, yeah, Malignant, Wait, yeah. It. Malignant was good. Antlers was good. So that's pretty much basically really been the only dud that we've watched so far out of all the films that, we, yeah. that we've made videos about. Yeah, it was. Um, and it seems like the trend of awesomeness has continued, uh, even yeah. though uh, – because Orphan is more older. It came out in 2009, and I've never mm-hmm. seen it. So that just shows you how outdated I have been when it comes to films. <laughs> For sure, yeah. yeah but you so, don't really like watch a lot of movies, which is all right. Well, not anymore. Whereas, you know, when I was like younger and shit, even when I first met you, we used to watch movies all the fucking time. Yeah, for and, sure, and we whatever did. Whatever the case would be, then I kind of just fell out of it, man. Because I just kind of like, I don't know why I did, but like, I don't know. Maybe I just got tired of like the same type of Hollywood shit coming out left and right, man. It was like, oh, been there, done that. Like there really wasn't yeah. anything unique. You know yeah. what I mean? So. It does get a little repetitive, I think, sometimes. But last night in Soho was like different. Yeah, it oh, wasn't yeah. really like. I'm sure there's other movies that are similar to it, and like maybe I've seen them and I just don't remember. But it was good. It was really good. It was interesting. It had like a tip for me. It had like a totally different look than like other horror movies or thrillers or whatever, right? Yeah, I mean, I look at this movie as more of a thriller not really so much Same. a horror, you know what I mean? Like, 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 I guess there is some horror elements in there. Uh, cause like the yeah. weird, like ghost things and whatever the case would be that eventually you figure out like what they're there for, and what their purpose are and what their actual, like their like whole entire involvement is. But the right. interesting thing that I like about it though, it's the fact that it's telling two stories at the same time. And a lot of films, when they do that, it's very hard to fucking pay attention to both. Whereas this one yeah. here, it's like, okay, there's two stories going on, but it all interconnects beautifully. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and that's one, okay. I think that's the reason why when I, when like, when we got done watching it, it was like, what, like an hour and 45 minutes, almost close to two hours around there. Yeah. Something um, like that, yeah. yeah. It was definitely, I was taken back and I was thinking, I'm like, shit, you know what, man? Like there wasn't a single scene or a fucking part in the film where I felt like I was like out of touch, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, I wasn't yeah. confused by the story, and sh- that, then by the time it got to the end, you know, like, more things started falling into place. Yeah, So for it made sure. me, Yeah, it made me feel rather uh, interesting, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and I think that it was, like, it, like, went together really well. Like, there wasn't a lot of, like, a lot of times in movies like that where you have, like, 
two different kind of like plot lines going at the same time there's a lot of like confusion and things don't really add up and i think that one did and it also did a really good job of like making you guess right like like we were talking about before like movies that make you guess like what's gonna happen or right. you know in the screen movie you were like constantly speculating about who who the killer is gonna be but um in this one it, it, it did like a really good job of doing that too. And I don't think like a lot of movies do that very well, but this one I think did, did good, like keeping you guessing kind of thing. It, it did, but it, like, it, like, cause it makes you feel, it makes you think like the main character that we see from the very, like from the very, very beginning of the movie, fucking like when the transition happens to like, you know, when she like crosses over to the other side, not the other side, yeah. but like in the, into that time period, right. In the sixties and shit. Yeah. Like, it makes yeah. you think that it's her, but from a different perspective, if that makes sense, because, like, all the movements that she was doing looked like it was her that was doing the movements and everything like that. And then when you find out that it actually isn't and you find out who it is, eh, it's kind of a nice little plot twist, man. It was. Yeah, it was. And I thought it was really interesting, too, because they would make it seem like she was the one that was, um, like, having this... Like, oh, okay, like, she's the one that is, um, that she's, like, m making those movements, right? She's that person that's, like, back in the 60s. Like, that's her. Yeah. But at the same time, it was also her watching it happen. It was really interesting, like, how yeah, they did that. Yeah, that, that's that's what I really appreciate, appreciate about that fucking movie, too. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely dope, man. Definitely, I, I definitely it's it, it's a it's a high on my scale recommendation. Like it starts off yeah. kind of slow, like but it's not like that long somber like forty five minutes in bullshit kind of slow. Like it gets to its point. I want to say about twenty minutes in, and then like you're hooked into that like that whole entire ride from beginning to end. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas I don't like movies that linger on for like longer than they should. And then it tries to get, like, oh, you know, care about our film. Make it, make, you know, try to make you give a shit. And then, like, you don't really give a fuck. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know. Because, well, usually in those cases, it's because there's not very good character development. And that one had, like, good character development, good backstory. You know, like, for all the characters, I think. Well, for the most part, right? Like, right. you know, right. I don't want to, like, say which characters. And then I'm, like, spoiling something. Because I hate when people do that. Although you, I'm sure at some point I've spoiled or something. Right. <laughs> but like, <laughs> like you recommend that shit though, right? For sure. For yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. As, as do I, I as well. It 100%. Definitely 100% recommend it 100% all the way to as well. Now, yeah. interesting movie though, that fucking that we just finished watching prior to making this video. Uh, Faye, now you've seen this movie, what, like twice now, three times? Probably more than that, yeah. Jesus Christ. So this is my <laughs> first time watching Orphan. Uh, it's a 2009 movie that came out. And, I, like, I've seen the poster, like, a billion fucking jillion times. But I just yeah. never bothered to actually get around to watching it. Um, right. So, but I'm kind of glad that you did recommend it to me because I heard, like, I saw that the new one's out, the first kill one. Um, mm -hmm. So that's kind of like it's a on little, the list. Yeah, it's on the list for sure. We're definitely going to check that out for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so that's a plus. <laughs> uh, uh, so, man, I don't even know where to begin with this. Um, freaking, it, <laughs> personally, fucking, I was expecting this movie to like go a different direction than it did. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Because just the way that like, I thought maybe like she had like some kind of like secret background or some shit like that, right? Remember how yeah. she was like, she was saying at the beginning, like, oh, I'm from Russia and shit. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Like a little nine year old Russian kid? It's like, right. bitch, you lie. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but yeah, and it turned out to be true. It turned out yeah. to be fucking, I mean, I don't care if we spoil this one because the movie's been out for fucking God knows how long, like over a, a very decade. Long time, yeah. yeah, very long time. It's an old ass movie. It came out in 2009 for fuck's sakes, man. We're in 2020 fucking three, bro. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> But um, it's still good. Oh, it is. It is. It's 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 very very good. It's very very good. Great cast. Yeah. Great great group of characters, man. Uh, the little girl, the little deaf girl there, fucking, she's brilliant in the entire fucking film. She's so good. <laughs> she's mm -hmm. so good. And that Vera, however you say her last name, is amazing. Like for me, she's like 
I, I, if she's in a movie, I'm watching it. I, I don't even have to she's watch. She's like the, the trailer, female version of Chucky. It. <laughs> without looking like a, a doll. Chucky. Yeah, without looking like a doll. Like she's super fucking freaky and scary, man. Like goddamn, bro. Oh, are you talking about the little orphan chick? Yeah. That's no, the, I'm yeah. talking about the mom. The oh, mom. the mom. Oh, her. Yeah. Yeah. If she, I would watch any movie she's in. I love her. Like I love her. She's fucking awesome. I yeah, think I'm she like to, does. I know I, I've seen her in several movies before, but I just I can't try to remember one that I she remember was seeing in, that she was in. She was in The Conjuring. If you've seen oh, that, oh, that's right, dude. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because she was the uh, the wife of uh, what's his name. Yeah, she was. She played. She played Lorraine Warren. Thank you. And she did such a good job. She does. She's just got that look on her face. I think like the way she's just designed. The way that she just, just can... designed. <laughs> Yo, like, that's... she just has this permanent look on her face where she she can pull off this, like, fucking terrified. So good. And, like, that opening scene where, you know, uh, she's, like, in labor and shit and she's going to lose. Like, that, like that, that looks real to me. Like, she pulls that shit off so good. Right, right. Yeah, no, for sure she does. For yeah. sure she does. It like, was a really like, well cast movie. Like yeah, everybody yeah, absolutely. in it is fucking good. Yeah, fucking hella absolutely, yes. Not, not yeah, fucking but not only that though too as well, like the whole movie keeps you in suspense and up until like the very, very end. Which I think is yeah. freaking great. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. I I love that movie. I mean, I I feel like I've talked to people about it before and they were like, Oh, that movie sucked. But I thought it was really good. I loved it. I loved everything about it. Wait, who the fuck would say that it sucks? Well, <sighs> well, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> Lots of people. People yeah. have, which is fine. People can have different opinions. Not everybody's gonna like everything. But I think some people hate things just because somebody else hates that hates it, or because they just don't want to watch it. <laughs> Exactly. Like, kind of like exactly. that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I see that every goddamn day in the gaming world, so I'm not surprised to see it in the Hollywood fucking movie industry fucking side of the things, man, to be fair. That's for sure. And I won't lie. Like, I also do that. I will, like, if there's an actor in a movie, I'll be like, fuck that. I ain't watching it. Trash. Um, I'm not going to say which actors, but there's actors that I just will not watch their movies. Like, I just can't fucking do it. No, yeah, I, I don't blame you on that. Uh, like Kristen Stewart, right? Like, when Kristen Stewart's in a movie, I don't want to watch it. You don't like her? Kristen Stewart? Yeah, I'm not a fan of her either. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Like, okay, Ooh, whatever. She, but she's so she's too similar, which is a reason I don't like a lot of comedians, because they're almost the exact same role in every fucking movie, and it's like, do something different, or fuck off. Like, it was funny the first five times but the last 20 it was not funny anymore <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> well yeah because like if you look at like um like uh jeff goldblum right he's a person that's mm -hmm. never changed his acting style after he did jurassic park <laughs> yeah but he but that's okay i mean well, okay. fine I mean, <laughs> well some people can pull it off pretty well and he definitely can for sure yeah. for sure for well sure. Honestly, I don't I don't know him in too much stuff other than like Jurassic Park, right? Um, but yeah, I could see how he would be. But like uh, Vince Vaughn, same in everything. Will Ferrell, same in everything. Like they're always just not. But I love me some Will Ferrell. Don't get me wrong. But they're just it's too. I don't know. Anyway, I don't yeah. remember how we got on this conversation. <laughs> no, no, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, but yeah, going back to Orphan though, fucking, it's. One of the better fucking films I've seen in a minute. Um, and, I, and again, not surprised, because, like, 2009 was, like, over a decade and a half ago. So, like, it's really nice to see films. Or going back to watch something that I haven't seen from back in when it, you know, when it first came out. You know what I mean? Because it's yeah. nice. Because it could be, like, I don't know. I guess they just have a lot of resentment and hate towards Hollywood nowadays. Because, like, the shit that they make has just been fucking either. It's, if it's a comic book movie, cool. You're successful. Anything else, garbage. <laughs> I don't know. I don't agree with that. Too. I mean, I do. I get it, right? Like, a Marvel movie comes out and everybody fucking loses their shit. But... I don't know. I feel like they get a little... 
I don't know. It, I don't know. I don't want to talk it's about not, it. It's not that Hollywood is bad. It's just like because they're going after things that like they know they can make money off of because like they can't rely on the movie coming out and then Blu-ray and DVD sales to back it up afterwards. Cause now we got streamings, right? We got Netflix. We got all these like fucking different services and those services aren't guaranteed to make money off the actual fucking DVDs and Blu-rays. Right. Right. You know what I mean? Like, so there's, there's that. <laughs> Cause like well, Matt Damon said it best in the hot ones interview. He's like, you know, your movie comes out fucking, you know, after your film comes out and then it, then it comes out on DVD, you can make your extra money on the side from there too, as well. It's like, it doesn't work that way anymore nowadays. You know what I mean? Cause like now yeah, all these services true. are coming out and say, Hey, let, let us get fucking this movie for like a year before it goes anywhere else. You know what I mean? After it gets like it does this theatrical thing, and again, if your movie goes in the theaters, man, and you're not making the same fucking money like the Avengers: Infinity War or fucking Avatar two, you ain't making all your money back in one fell swoop from the box office. You you just not happening. Right. <laughs> well, and not only that, but like people do not frequent the theater as much as they used to. Like, yeah, it's I feel like very it's starting to become a lost commodity. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean. It's yeah, like, like where I live, where I live is very much like a major city. And all the movie theaters here are closing, except for, like, one that's in the busiest mall in my area. That's crazy. Uh, That's a lot of fucking movie theaters that are shutting down. Like, a bunch of them are already closed. But, like, for, for, for a city that has millions of people and one movie theater, it just goes to show how much it's really, like, fucking dying out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And Which sucks. Yeah, it does. It, like, it really sucks. I love going to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> I love the movies, man. The movies are great. <laughs> movies are great. So, yeah. So, you recommend Orphan, then? Absolutely. Uh, yep. I do, too, as well. And I think that would be it to wrap it up, I believe, with the fucking, with our two double feature, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Until next time, guys. Yeah. yeah.